What's good everybody, my name is DC here, welcome back to another video. So in this, what I have for you today is, if you remember a while back, I went to my cheeky little Discord server, in the description, and I posted a picture of Thomas the Tank Engine, and I asked people to make it as scary as possible, and it was super fun, super good, a lot of people did it. But now I'm here with a round two of that, with this image right here of VeggieTales, and so I asked everyone that they could to make that image as scary as humanly possible, and we got all of the results right here, now we're about to tier list these bitches. So we got five here we got where's god when i'm scared creepy as hell does the job a bit silly and expired i try to be cute with the names and have them be like veggie tales related this top one's a reference so let's not waste any time let's get straight into this shit all right first of all we got this fucking thing now um my god that is uh damn mortifying okay here's the thing we got our two main mans here bob and larry right and they both look like they just came from the seventh circle okay Bob, I'm not really the biggest fan of, just because he just kind of just looks like a red circle, which is like, okay. But Larry, though, my boy, Larry in this picture is creepier than hell, because it kind of looks like his mouth is, like, smiling and is, like, taking over his entire fucking body. It's got the hollow eyes and everything. I just don't really like Bob in the photo. I just think he just looked kind of just okay. Like, he doesn't look like Bob. It doesn't look like a scary version of him. It just looks like a red circle. <laughs> So I feel kind of bad, though, because, like, half of the image is a bit silly, but the other half is, like, creepier than hell. So honestly, I'm probably just gonna stick it and does the job. Okay, now we got this wholesome guy. Why do we have to die like this? Wow, okay. This is how... This sucks. Okay, here's the thing, lads. Let's dissect this, okay? Once again, we kind of had the same problem as last time where uh, one of the characters is just gone. Uh, not sure if that makes it scarier or not. Genuinely cannot tell you. Um, also, Bob looks fucking mortifying because he just looks like a horrifying demon of hell. Just the fact that his eye is just, like, sticking out of the darkness is something that I absolutely cannot stand. Also, with the caption of why do we have to die like this kind of makes it look like it's censored, if that makes sense. Like, like, these bodies right now are completely fucking mutilated, but you just can't see because of how dark it is. I kind of fuck with that because that makes it kind of, like, a bit of a mystery behind it, you know? Is it the scariest image on the planet? Fucking no way, not really. But, like, I can kind of fuck with the vibe of it, you know what I mean? I'm kind of thinking, like, a creepy as hell. I don't know, it might be, like, the last on creepy as hell. Maybe, like, the top of does the job. This one's just fucking... Oh, my God, dude. Look at Larry's mouth, dude. It's, like, realistic human lips that just curl up. Dude, this one's cool. So, we got, like, an analog horror kind of, like, Mandela catalog vibe with this. I don't know if Bob looks scary. He just looks cooler than hell. And, like, I have to specify that. I'm not doing this on how good it is, like, quality-wise. I'm doing this just based on how fucking terrifying it is. So if it looks cool, that doesn't mean shit if it's not scary. And I'll be damned with you, bro. That Larry is doing something to me, man. My god, he is doing something to me all day, every day. I kind of just wish that, like, Bob was a bit more on, like, the kind of cast and shadow horrifying side. Honestly, I think that the way that this image could be a lot better is if the background wasn't just jet white. Like, if this was also kind of, like, shrouded in darkness a bit, but you could still make out, like, their faces and shit. Oh, dude, this would be the top of the fucking list all day, every day. But the fact that you can easily see them, I think, is what kind of does it for me. I'm really... Oh, man, dude, if you just made it darker, I think it'd be fucking perfect. But for the time being, I think I'm just gonna put it at the top of creepy as hell. I like that. All right, now we got this one. Yup. Okay, this one's... I... <laughs> I... I don't, I don't know if this is real or not. Like, I genuinely cannot tell if this is, like, a real attempt. Because, like, you know what's fucked up about this image, though? Same thing with the other ones that I've talked about. Like, if they actually tried with the background, this could be fucked. Like, if you made this whole thing just shrouded in absolute darkness, but you could still make out these faces, it would actually be fucking crazy as hell. But, uh, yeah. Okay, this one, I have no idea what to think about it. Because they took this in a whole different direction. They didn't just Photoshop it. They whole ass just, like, redrew it. So there is no background, which is kind of lame. Like, that probably keeps it out of the S tier, just guaranteed by default. But my god, dude, is this the sickest fucking thing I've ever seen. You know what I'm kind of thinking of? Really off topic, I, I kind of feel like I should move this white one right here to the top because I really like it. I just don't like how white the background is. If the artist is watching this, bro, please just, like, revamp this, dude. Oh my god, the top of the list, easy. But for this drawing one that we got right here, I'm not... 
a hundred percent positive because it is amazingly well drawn it looks cooler than sin but i don't think it looks very scary especially bobby looks like a dog i don't even really think it's kind of creepy as hell like larry is kind of creepy but like like i said bob is just kind of just like distraught to hell and back before it is like scary i'm thinking maybe just like the end of does the job i mean you know that might be a bit harsh especially for a drawing that well done but i don't know I th it's not it's, it doesn't speak to me this fucking thing okay great Bro, the vibe with this one is wild, you know. Did he do anything to the background? The background looks like slightly off and I genuinely can't tell. So what's the story with this one? Where do I even begin, dude? Got the main man, Larry, who is just splitting down the fucking middle like he's a damn hot dog bun. And then you just got Bob over here just with spider legs. Steady chilling. See, I'm gonna come off right now as the biggest asshole on the entire fucking Middle East, dude. But like, it's cool but I just don't find it scary. I think it's really well done and it's super like, it's just quality as shit. If we're doing this on like a quality standpoint, this would be right the fuck up there. But just in terms of scary, it doesn't really have practically anything I feel going for. The faces are mortifying, but like just the overall vibe of the image, I don't know, I'm not really getting like a terror vibe from it. I just get like, a, ooh, that's cool. The other ones in do- No, actually wait. You know, honestly, I'm thinking that my list already is kind of fucked because like, there's no way in hell that this top one out here with the shading is scarier than like these other guys down here. So I think I'm gonna move this dude up to creepy as hell and then I'll move this one down to does the job. But then unfortunately, I think I might move this one down to a bit silly because like, I think it's super good. Let me clarify that. It looks fucking awesome. If we're just doing like an art competition period, dude, this would be top of the list because I just love how it's designed and love how it looks, but it's not scary, especially Bob. He just, he just looks kind of silly and goofy. <laughs> okay, this one, uh, this one has some feelings with it. So first of all, we got Larry. Just looks borderline unchanged. They just kind of contrasted the shit out of him. Um, and then Bob is a mutilated corpse that looks borderline fucking realistic. My god, you are the one for me. Being captioned on as well is, is such a dandiful treat. I just kind of wish he did something with Larry, you know, because it's just like Larry's literally just the same. He's just a dude chilling there, but Bob looks awesome. The fact that it's like half censored as well, like it just looks really, really cool. I love the Bob in this image. But to be honest with you, man, uh, we're I, I might be thinking like a top a bit silly because like I said, Bob is perfect. If Bob looked on this, or excuse me, if Larry looked on the same level as the main man tomato right here, bro, this would be probably like a creepy as hell. But just the way it is, I think it's okay. This one is a damn vibe and a half, dude. I love the glitchy effect to this because the fact that like Larry just looks evil as shit and Homeboy is just a victim every damn time, dude. In all of these images, man, Larry's like the evil one almost every single time and I love it. This is gonna sound super freaking weird, but I feel like this one would work if it had sound effects. Like, I feel like if you were to give this like a terrifying ambiance, like right now I'll put like a terrifying ambiance on then I feel like it would like do a lot for it. But just a still image as is, I think is just okay. But if you added literally anything to it, it would be fucking phenomenal. I like the vibe a lot. I love what it's trying to go for, but I just don't know if I can really put it up there with the giant. So I think right here, it's probably good. Yeah, I like it more than the drawing one, but I think that this one uh, just has such like a mystery behind it that I don't think it beats it out. Okay, this one I saw before I did this little list and let me just say this, bro. This one is awesome. I think it is super cool. I love the way it's designed. It's just not that scary in my opinion. Like it's, it's just really not. But it's super well done though and I really like Bob as well because he just looks fucking mortifying. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'm a dickhead. Maybe every time I look at this, I get more and more freaked out by it. I just don't like the drawn aspect of it because I feel like the drawn just makes it cooler and not scarier. If you had literally this exact same thing, but you kind of made it more like photorealistic, dude, this would be top of the list all fucking day. This looks like somebody traced what originally was submitted. That's what it looks like. Drawing wise, it kicks ass. Scary wise, nah, it's a bit silly. Ooh, this one's fun as hell. We got like a new PB or P PB. We got a PB one. Okay, this one's cooler than fuck. Once again, Bob is the victim. Now, almost every one of these, man, Larry's evil as shit. I really, really dig the hell out of this, dude. I'm not really, like, the biggest, like, pibby guy. Like, the whole, like, aesthetic and vibe that it gives off. But, like, for some reason, seeing it like this 
and just seeing the main man Larry just chilling there with his stretched out mouth and his bright glowing eye, that looks fucking horrifying. I love that shit. The whole world is like deteriorating behind them. Look at that. Even like the glitches is like working with the background. Like it look, it literally curves. The like glitching stuff literally curves down the fuck. Yo, no, th this one's cooler than hell. This one is sick. It may not be the scariest thing on the planet, but Larry looks awesome in this to the point. No shit. I'm thinking maybe like a bottom of creepy as hell. I could fuck with that. Okay. This one's wholesome. All right. Well, oh God, there's a lot to unpack with this. All right. Uh, first of all, we got main man Larry. Uh, let's just take a gander at his eyes real fast. That's nothing I like. And Bob just looks great. I love the fact that his jaw is separate from his mouth. That's sweet. And we even got this binary thing up here, bro. This is uh, this is mortifyingly terrifying. <laughs> I don't think it's as good as the top three that we have up here, but I kind of do fuck with it in like the does the job category. So maybe it's better than the other drawing just because I find it more scary. Is it better than the other guys though? The glitch? Not really. Not really in terms of scares, no. Okay, this one. D I, dude, I have been looking at this one for like an hour and a half. Because this looks fucking awesome. So we got like the two main men right here going for like a whole different aesthetic. Everybody else had like darkness and blood and glitching and shit like that. This one kind of took like the veggie side of it like literally. And they've like corroded over dude. They got like mushrooms growing on them. The vines are taking over the entire wall. The jar in the middle is cracked as well. Bob is just completely fucked. What is this? Is this like a tongue or is this just like a fat mushroom? Oh, dude. This one is awesome as hell. I love this. The fact that they both look like they're fully hollow is like the scariest damn thing ever. Nah, dude, this one, this one is clean as hell. I love this one a lot. I bet you $100,000 though that if you put like a vignette on this shit, dude. Oh, oh, dude, this would be amazing, bro. Top of the list. Let's go. Is it better than the other one? Maybe just solely because of the background of this pure white one, dude. If the background was darker, it'd be top spot all day, but not with the way it's at. See, this is another one as well that's just like really, really cool, but I just don't find it fucking scary. I love the way it's drawn. Honestly, out of all the drawing ones, I think this one might honestly be my favorite. But just, I just don't know if it really hits the same vibe. Like, you cannot look at this image, and then this image right here, and then just be like, these are the same. Because they're just fucking not. It looks way better, though, in terms of, like, an actual drawing. Especially Bobby, it looks fucking cooler than hell. But just in terms of scares, it doesn't really do shit. Okay, well, this one, uh, this next one gives off some freaking vibes, man. I didn't even see the damn, like, recording stuff around it. That makes it so much more worse. Okay, this is a VeggieTales snuff film. Okay. Fully admit with you, Bob is not the best. I can admit that he does kind of look like he's like drawn in like Microsoft Paint. Larry looks awesome, dude. I absolutely love how Larry looks in this. It just looks so damn terrifying. This is kind of just what annoying orange is if you made it horror. And just the recording stuff, you got like the film grain on it, dude. If Bob was better, man, this would be up there, man. I can really, really fuck with the ambition behind this one because it just looks so fucking cool, dude. The snuff film kind of angle that it has that no one else has kind of redone. Maybe the glitching one to an extent, but oh, dude, no, this one's cool. Where there on the cool spectrum is it going though? Because like, is it really like the best? Of the, and there's no way it's the best of the best. But like, I do want to put it on creepy as hell. But I, is it better than the Pibby one? I don't know. I like the vibe of this one a lot more, but I just think the Pibby one is just better made. I think I'm going to keep it right there. I think that the Pibby one is just more quality, but they're both on the same level of scary. I think the snuff film one might be just barely higher, but it's so much barely higher to the point where I just honestly consider it a tie. Okay. This one's great. So, let me just say this. Uh, this fucking thing looks like something I would see in a nightmare. And, uh, gotta be honest with you, dude. This one's going up there. This one is one of the best ones by far. First of all, gotta be honest. Love the vignette. Love that shit, dude. It looks great. This is also just a fun word to say. Having Larry here with this giant-ass grin and just, like, all these tiny little teeth. He also, he also just looks like he's made of cloth as well. Or just, like, he like all the... This is gonna sound gross, but, like, all this juice is dried. And then you just got Bob, who's just a vortex into another dimension known as Hades Realm. Okay, that's fun. Gotta be 100% honest with you, dude. I'm thinking it's gonna be a top spot. I just really wish that this white one right here just had a dark background, dude. This would be top spot all day. 
but it's just the fact of like this one I just feel like is a better final result you know what I mean so I think I'm gonna move it right there I do not think it's gonna beat the mushroom one I think that the one with the fungus dude that one is clean but I could fuck with the silver so far for this one I can respect that this one we got another drawing one like I said I feel really bad about this but I'm not really a fan of it in terms of scares it looks really fun it looks really cool I love the art style as well I love the little flashlights it's just kind of hovering over him because that's what like hands are in the universe and shit and uh, the fact that there's just a tiny little pupil you can just kind of barely make it out it's just the fact that it just doesn't come off as super fucking scary once again fifth time bob's a victim it's a really really good image but i don't think that it's even slightly scary i mean i mean larry's a little bit but everybody else not really see i feel kind of bad though because like my a bit silly tear doesn't really check out in my eyes like this one right here is really fucking good Honestly, I'm going to move this one up to does the job. I think that that's a good... That's a, you know what? Yeah, that's a good place. You know what? Honest to God, I might even move it above these guys. No shit. I'm not even fucking with you, bro. This one right here is just being held back because Larry had nothing to do with it. And then these three are all really, really good. They just don't give off any kind of like scary vibes. Oh, this one is... Okay. Let me just be honest with you, dude. The photorealistic eyes on the main man, Larry fucking that shit looks cleaner than hell the fact that they're like pink as well oh it's kind of creepy to look at i don't like looking at it once again bob's a victim take a shot every time that he's the one getting fucked up in these images but the fact that actually you know what dude these two images right here are like the same damn thing dude because you got bob who's just like a mutilated mess and he's just on like this tv static background this looks cooler than hell honestly i bet you a hundred thousand dollars dude that if you gave this one a glitch effect like a glitch effect that covered the entire thing dude it would genuinely bump it up a whole letter because that's like the vibe that we're going for it's like a tv kind of vibe at least that's what i'm getting from it is it one of the best i I don't think so is it one of the worst no fucking way i think i'm gonna put it in does the job but we just gotta decide where because i like it more than the drawing just because i just find it scarier and then this one i do think it's better is it better than the crazy photoshop and not probably not no they didn't like it okay all right there's a there's a lot to unpack here because like i want to be like this one sucks but the more you look at it the honest to god cooler it looks it doesn't have anywhere near as like much effort as like a lot of these other drawings do but just i feel like the vagueness of it is what really does it for you like the, they didn't like it in like a dried blood written on the wall looks cooler than hell the fact that they're missing their mouths as well just makes it look fucking terrifying and their pupils are just enormous like it's obviously not like on the same level like quality wise as like the drawing and like the crazy photoshopped ones but i really do respect this one in terms of horror because i feel like the implications behind it and the kind of vagueness that it has is kind of a little bit bitching but like i said though i'm basing this off of scary not based on how quality the image itself is so if we're talking about this solely from like a terror standpoint no shit i'm thinking like right there yeah i, I think that like the vagueness behind it is just what does it because it's like what well, what didn't they like I'm scared as shit to know what. This one is fucking metal. Damn. Oh my god. Bro, they took Bob. They took a red fucking circle and they made him into this. I just can't even fathom what is going on with this dude. This is like... This is fucked up, man. The fact that there's just a whole human skull hidden inside of Larry too, that's phenomenal. I love that. To be honest with you, quality-wise, this is like top spot. If not, maybe it loses out to the fungus one. I really like that one a lot, but... Oh my god, dude. I, I can't stop looking at Bob, dude. The fact that you did all of that with just that simple-ass fucking the red sphere. Honestly, my only actual negative that I have with it is that I wish it was darker. Like, if you just turn the brightness down a shitload with this, dude, this would be the top spot, honestly. Oh, man. Yeah, quality-wise, this is one of the best ones. And horror-wise, I just can't stop fucking dude if you made this darker this would be the scariest shit on the planet i'm gonna put in the top of creepy as hell because that one thing i do feel like is holding it back but aside from that this is one of the giants okay and last but not least we have this cheeky fucking thing right here oh my god first of all let me just say something real fast bro the fact that you made that background dark thank you that is one of the biggest problems that i've had with a lot of these is that like they're being held from greatness solely because it looks like they're filmed in midday but this one dude Oh my god, what is even happening? 
who consented to what? Larry looks like he's completely fine with the events that are currently going on, and Bob looks like he's dead once again. Another Bob is a victim? But, like, what is going on, though, with this, bro? Like, is that, like, teeth coming out of the side of the main man? They're, like, cracked as hell, dude. This one looks awesome. I love the fact that it's dark as well because it just adds to that scary vibe, that mystery kind of angle to it. No matter what, it's getting at least these top two tiers. Oh, but where is it going, though? I don't think it's as, like, hard to look at as these top three are just because they're so fucking cool. It's definitely better than the Snuff Film one. It's better than the Pibby one. It's definitely better than the Crazy one. Is it better, though, than the giant fucking flower? Maybe not. Dude, I, oh, I, I hate it. I hate the fact that people didn't make the backgrounds as dark as, like, I feel like they just should have. I, like, I, I'm, not, I'm sorry for being a dick, but, like, man, dude, if that flower one had, like, a horrifying background to it, man, pff, done deal. But, like, the way it is now, I'm thinking that this might be our fourth place guy overall. I'm thinking that it might be, you know, I can. So that is going to do it for this little video. This is one of the most fun things ever. I love the fact that I could just conjure up a bunch of artists and it just works. Thank you to everyone who gave a cheeky little submission for this little video, this little project, or I don't know, whatever the hell you want to call it. I would love to do another one of these if people are still down. If there's any ideas on what characters like to do and to make scary, please let me know. I want to try to keep it as like really young kid shows because I feel like that kind of like helps the fun of like the scary vibe of it. But for the meantime, I'm the Duck right here. So if you enjoyed this kind of content, then the buttons are down there. You know what to do and uh, have a good one. So go bye. See ya. Later.